Okay, so to show you how to install our new high tensile stud kit for the Ural Pan RX7, RX8, um, we've got a customer's rebuilt engine here. We're just going to go through the basic installation. It's quite straightforward. There's the studs, the fasteners. <laughs> Okay, so we've got a customer's engine that we've rebuilt here. Um, we're going to be installing our high tensile stud kit on it. Before you install the stud kits, you want to make sure all the bottoms of the holes, especially the blind holes, are clear, there's no silicon in them, and that the threads have all been cleaned out. So to start with, we're actually going to run a tap down all the holes. We've made sure there's nothing in the bottoms. We're going to tap through all the holes, make sure they're all nice and clean and clear, and then we'll go ahead and get the stud kit installed. It is important at this time when using a tap or a thread chaser to clean the holes out. To take your time, be careful. There's nothing worse than breaking a tap in a blind hole. Okay, with the holes tapped out, next thing, we've got some Loctite Blue 2700. It's a medium strength Loctite. So we're going to use this to just dab on the bottom of our high tensile studs. So when we screw them in, they're essentially going to lock into the engine block and it's going to reduce the risk of them backing out when you're tightening and, and removing the parts. The advantage of the stud kit is if you do have to remove the oil pan for anything, you can actually leave the studs in situ. So there's less of a hassle, for instance, of having to um, clean these, these holes out on the engine block every time. So yeah, we'll go ahead, get some locks out on these and then get them screwed in. Okay, so Let's put them all in by hand to start with. And we'll go around and tighten them down. These do look a little on the long side. However, we've selected the length of these studs for this job to account for our sump baffle, uh, the thicker sort of the gritty oil pans, which you'll see us be installing on this engine in a bit. Um, aluminium oil pans, sump braces in some cases for some of the RX-7s are quite popular. So the advantage of these, these studs is they give plenty of length once they're installed and allow even some of the thicker items to be added to the oil pan or oil pan setup without causing a problem with clearance or the studs not being long enough. Okay, with all of the studs put in by hand or started by hand, we're gonna go down and screw them down with a three mil Allen key. What I'm doing here is the, the open holes is I'm just feeling with my hand just to make sure we don't put too much of the stud through the hole the other side. Obviously the blind holes we can go down and go ahead and tighten those down so they're snug. See the advantage of the blue Loctite is it's not a permanent thing but it will hold the studs in place. Again, some of the blind holes around the back near the clutch Pull those down and then we'll wait for the blue Loctite to do its job. Okay, so with all the studs in, we we'll go ahead with the acetone white. With the white, we're gonna clean up any excess Loctite around some of the studs and make sure obviously the mating face, so when we go to seal the oil pan down, the mating face is all nice and clean with no contaminants. We'll give it one more wipe down. Okay, we're gonna leave these to go off for about five or 10 minutes. It should mean that the studs hold nice and firm. Then we'll get the oil pan out and get that sealed up and we'll, we'll show you the, the end result. Okay, so we've let the studs set. We've also cleaned up the oil pan and obviously installed all the hardware. So next all we need to do is Offer the oil pan up. At this point, we have also applied a bit of sealant around the oil pan itself. Drop it over the studs, allow it just to sit in place. Once that's done, we'll take the stainless steel 10 mil nuts. Screw it all down into place. Again, we'll start these by hand and then torque them down. So about 10 to 11 millimetres. Be back in a minute once that's done. Okay, we'll pull them down with a ratchet and then torque them up. 
At this stage, we're not trying to tighten it down, we'll just snug the nuts up. The nuts actually come with a kit, they've got serrations on the back of the flanges, so it should help prevent them from coming undone once they're torqued down. Okay, with them all snug down, we're now grab the torque wrench, set it to about 11 Nm, and we'll go around and torque them all up. You'll probably need to torque these, go around and torque these several times, because as you go round, tightening one fastener and then the next, you find that the earlier ones that you've done will actually become loose. So just continue to go around until it sets the torque wrench off whenever you check them. Okay, we're gonna go around again, just to check. Okay, with all that, that done, all's left now is just let the, the actual sealant go off and then we can obviously install the engine and fill it full of oil. The Essex Rotary High Tensile Sump Stud Kit is compatible with all RX7 and RX8 models. To order yours, head to essexrotary.co.uk.